it is Danielle, and it is after Elvis. This is the smart edition. That's why I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> no, actually, it's because I can actually see the paper. <laughs> so sad I can't read. Okay. Uh, anyway, this uh, time around, we're going to talk Cardi B, all things Cardi B, because we're loving her, and Normani talking about Camila Cabello. Join Ooh. us for After Elvis. Elvis joining me today, Rob Schuter. Hello, hello, hello. And our Honey German. Hello. Honey and German. our new sponsor. We actually have someone who likes the show, likes it enough to sponsor us. What? Blue Apron. Blue Apron. Okay. Now, you guys know that I love Blue Apron, and Elvis does too. I've been getting Blue Apron delivered to me for a long time, even before they became a sponsor. So... I, I, I cook, but I don't cook as great without Blue Apron. This is, I mean, it's fast. I don't have it, but I, I'm going to try and get it. This is where everything arrives in a box yes. and it's foolproof. And anything you need, every single ingredient you use. It's a brilliant so there's idea. nothing that goes to waste. It's all fresh. But is it like Ikea furniture where you have a few pieces left over? No. You're like, what should I have done with this piece of fish? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to throw in some extra stuff and I'm like, where's my adobo? Where's my sasong? And... Well, you can. You can, you know, you can alter it, but it doesn't need to be. Okay. Pretty great. I'll right. try it. Anyway, let's talk about Cardi B first since we're talking about cooking and Blue Apron. Cardi B can't cook. She admits she cannot cook. So maybe she needs Blue Apron. <laughs> but let's talk about her over the weekend. So many things. First of all, SNL. We knew she was pregnant. Yes. Yes. But the way that she did the big reveal was so cool. It's really, really cool. She must have sat down, though, with the director and the camera people on that show to say, like, you start here, and as the song goes on, you pull out oh, to reveal yeah. the... It was choreographed as if it was a ballet. Yeah. I thought it was just fantastic. It was. I was here for it. It was very Beyonce of her, yes. I yeah, yeah, must yeah. say. But it, it, I expected it to happen Yeah. that night. I actually got like a little heads up. Did you up. really? Yeah. I had everything prepared. The article was ready. I was like, come on, bitch. Don't do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were ready to hit post the second it happened. Of course happened. I was. I had I my that. caption to my Instagram in my notes. Oh, I my love God. And then I just recorded the TV and I was like, boop. Here we go. I got to admit, though. It's lit. I, what I really love about her she knows drama and theater oh, yes. in a way that I haven't seen since Lady Gaga. Like, she just knows how to be so over the top. I love her. It makes it intoxicating. Yeah. I was watching. I'm not really that aware of her. I'm really not. Like, she's someone that I'm still becoming kind yeah. of, like, used to having on my on my iPhone. But um, there's just something about her that is so delicious. Do you know what I loved? Did you see when she got that gift basket from Jimmy Fallon? <laughs> and she's going through it, and she gets to that, like, in in this bejeweled baby bottle. It was like a rhinestone. And she looked yeah. at it, and she's like... Okay. <laughs> and she goes up to the next I was like, she is too much. I can't. And then she talks about how when she got her butt done, mm -hmm. she, does. she paid eight hundred dollars in a Queen's woman's apartment. She went to get cheap cheap yeah. injections in her bottom. That's a normal thing, actually. That's like crazy. when it comes to like strippers, uh bottle waitresses yeah. and you know, go go dancers, they get it done in the hood. Right, right. You're not going to plastic surgeons. You're like, listen, I made these eight hundred dollars last night. Can you plump up that ass? Oh. But like, then the woman that she went to actually killed somebody. Like on the well, things do go wrong yeah. at times, you know. Oh Cardi gosh. said her hers were leaking for like one Is that week. Normal? <laughs> I don't know if that's normal. I never had butt shots myself, but. It, it's, it looks good. You were blessed with the perfect you have a Yes, great, I was. You have a great you, bottom. This is all filled with rice and beans <laughs> and platanos and how much, pork How much pressure do you think it was for her to get those bottoms? She said pressure. it was a lot of pressure. She said, that, you know, she wanted it so that she could make more money dancing. But she also mentioned that, like, she had, like, a breakup and, and the guy went with someone maybe with a bigger butt. And, yeah. And she right. did it. And I know that while Cardi was on with The Breakfast Club, she was explaining why she actually kept the pregnancy a secret for so long. You know, she said that right now this fame is making her feel like a, like an animal, yeah. like that people pet, which, which I understand. They also question the fact that she kept the baby because the pregnancy was unplanned. Yeah. She is like 25 years old, and yeah. they're saying your career is just taking off. Like, did you think at one point to have an abortion? Yeah. And she said no. Wow. She was like, what? it was unplanned, but she's grown and does. Is she aware of how she is the it girl? Like, she's it at the she moment. She is, but here's the beautiful thing about Cardi. She's still so humble. She's so nice. And she's still so appreciative that this even happened to her, that she's an amazing person. Yeah. Super sweet, down to and earth. And that's maybe and why it happened to her. Because, Probably, like, yeah. she just is the coolest we girl. We can see it. You know, what's crazy, it's like we're all rooting behind Cardi. I'm yeah. rooting for we her. We all want her to win. This is like hood Cinderella yeah. story. But, but it's bigger than, like, the skinny, gay, white British boy <laughs> is on her team. Like, 100%. I'm, I'm, I'm Kate also, Middleton's dead to me. I'm all about Cardi B. I also think that it's because she's real. And Cardi is Cardi. It's authentic, and, and, isn't it? And you gotta love the way she is. She, she's herself and it's so adorable. It's it adorable. Is. All 
All right, we're about to talk Camila Cabello and Normani and how everybody seems okay. But before that, did I mention we have a new sponsor? Da, 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 da. Blue Apron! Delicious. <laughs> we're about to be and rich. You, and you can't mess it up. It no. arrives in the box. You can't. And if you don't want fish, they don't send fish because I don't like fish. I don't, I don't like, like fish either. No, no. you pick like... Uh, it's, um, and, and then the meals are pretty fast, too. I think in 20 minutes you can rustle up a gourmet yeah, meal. some of them. Some of them. It depends on what you get and mm -mm. how much time you have. But I always have exactly what I need, fresh ingredients, and You've it's been perfect. a fan of this for a long time. And like, I know You've people talk about are on TV or on radio always rattle on about what fans they are. Long yeah. before they were a sponsor, you've you've been telling me about Blue Apron yes. annoyingly they've, for they've so long. <laughs> Thank Annoying, you, Blue Apron. Annoyingly? Well, you've been very passionate. We need to about discuss that. <laughs> annoyingly. All right, let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about Normani and Camila Cabello. So normally the girls from Fifth Harmony, they don't talk about Camilla. Mm -hmm. It's like the taboo. Yeah, it's like Voldemort right? if you mention the name. Right. But <laughs> she did a little interview with us weekly, and she said Camilla's killing it. She's killing it. I'm super proud of her. She's in her own space and she's happy. Yeah, as somebody that works at the company that owns Us Weekly, I should probably point out they asked her. Okay. So I don't know if they brought it up But for freely. her to say anything but, but nice, I, I mean, she didn't too. have to if, say anything. You're right. But if you're asked a question about about her mm -hmm. and you choose not to answer, I think you look like a real fool. But Do here's you think, the thing. Don't you, you think that if she really didn't want to discuss it, her people ahead of time would have said, listen, don't, oh, talk, don't ask about this. We've all been in those situations. We, they yep. do it here. They yep. come in and say, don't ask about this, that, and the other right. thing. Yeah. I think it's better for her to even associate herself with Camila. Now that yeah. everybody's gone their own way, you're not going to be out here trying to be a hater or trying to put it out there like right. I'm enemies with her and I don't mess with her. The group is dismantled. Right. I'm going to be like, Camila, girl, <laughs> call me. Let's do drinks. Let's talk about how I'm going to be I'll lit out here up. just like I'll you. I'll sing back up. Whatever you do. Right. It, it is a secret though. It's, 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 like, it's such a good tip in life. When you talk rubbish about yeah. people, you never make the other person look no. bad. You look like right. the fool. 100%. We love everybody from Fifth her. Harmony. So. I saw her once. So before they, they split, I was having breakfast in there's a little restaurant next door to the studio here. And the group had not yet split. And there was a big executive from a record label in there. And she snuck in to meet him. Oh. And she did a cartwheel into the restaurant. I'm never. Not, she Are you serious? She came in ready to impress this executive. And I was, I was sitting in the back. That was Camila? Yeah, wow. eating my eggs. And I was like, mm, that girl leaving that group. Because <laughs> <I knew, laughs> like, you don't do a cartwheel at eight in the morning no. for no reason. You had that hot tea. I, I said to myself, she leaving. Like, but I just <laughs> stood there and I was like, she's in it to win it. Wow. See, I knew she was leaving when we were backstage at iHeart. Uh, she was by herself. And the girls were over oh. here, and I said, something's not right. And then this past year. Not by year, herself. Yeah, she was hanging by herself. So she was on her phone? Uh, so by yeah. I'm not mm. messing with these. And they, and they were, like, doing their own thing, and she was by herself. This year, Normani was by herself, and the girls were doing their own thing. So I thought, hmm, that's interesting. You can tell. Yeah. Moving on to Nicki Minaj. Now, this is I love this. So let's tweet out the number four. Then we delete it. What? Then the next day, we tweet out the number three. Then we delete it. <laughs> like, we think it meant like in four days, new music's coming. In three days, new music's coming. And then she deletes it. Okay. Oh, she's just messing with it. Do you yeah. think she's messing with us? I don't know. Us? What do you think? Well, here's the deal with Nicki Minaj. Hot tea. She was going to release her new <laughs> single on the same day that um, Cardi B was going to drop her album. Oh. Yeah. But I don't know who spoke to her or what hit her, and she pulled back. Oh. So I'm hearing that she might be releasing it sometime this week. Okay. So I think she's kind of like doing a countdown, but oh. we are going to be getting Question for you. Did she pull back? Because she was being kind, or did she pull back because she was going to be slaughtered? Oh. With Nicki Minaj, you don't know, <laughs> but most likely because they were going to like destroy <laughs> her. No the same way they try to destroy Drake. They're like, Drake, you didn't uh, even let um Cardi B have a right? moment. You He's, he'll be fine. She'll be fine. Yeah. I'm now. Nick, so, so you think Nikki's going to back down for a little bit? Let Kate, let Cardi have a moment. Especially not the same day. They would have killed day. her. Yeah. Especially she's been silent since like December. Right. So it's like to make your one comeback the same day Cardi yeah. makes her album debut. That would have been petty. Of as all hell. the celebrities out there, though, I think Nikki's the most similar to Cardi as far as the fan base. Um. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. I don't know. The like Barbs are real savages. They're crazy. And then Cardi's, you know, the Barty gang is kind of like more chill, relaxed. Yeah. Right. They like to have fun. But um, yeah, both their fan bases go really hard. So how adorable was the post Justin Timberlake put up the other day where Jessica Biel's arms were around him? And, mm. and like, he said something like, she supports me. She's always me, got my back. She's always got it, my back. Those two just know how to do it. At first, I'm so cynical. I was like, she didn't do her makeup. That's why she hid in her face. Oh, my but God. Then, no, no, no. I thought I was and then, no. and then I was like, this is so 
They're the real deal. Everybody that I know who knows them, all the sources I have around yeah. them, say that they, they are the real deal. And the fact that this tour, the whole family's gone on tour, mm -hmm. she's there, uh, Silas is there. Yeah. I think they're going to get a bus at some point and enjoy America and see some national parks on That's the tour. Awesome. I can see they're that. the real deal. I wish I wish I could say something more interesting, but they're, they're, they're just... They really are cute. And she was talking about how she keeps the marriage alive. Sex. And <laughs> That's probably part of it. But, <laughs> but come on. That's sex what we isn't the only thing. This is not that important. It's 80%. <laughs> That's another topic. I'm fine, <laughs> I'm fine without it, but yes. No, because she said communication, 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 it's, which a it, lot yeah. of relationships lack. And, and talking about people becoming really famous and changing, mm -hmm. Justin's one of the biggest stars in the world, and I think he yeah. lives a very normal, very regular I think so. You don't see life. him in the tabloids. Not at all. He's it's really hard those. to get him. Yeah. I, um, I saw him walking around this neighborhood just yeah. in, like, in his gym gear with a baseball cap on, and you, if you didn't know it was him, you would never have any idea. I think right. he lives a really regular life. And then he gets up on stage and sells out these 10,000 right? venues. Good for him. I got a little dish on him. So this is what a nice guy he is. And Sig are getting their it. star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Okay. What people don't know about this is when you get one, you have to be given one. You can't just take one. Yeah. But you have no, to pay for it. No, you have to for pay it. for it. $30,000. Yeah. Oh, $30,000. A one-time fee, I hope, not every year. No, no. no. 30, no. Oh, okay. It's not like a grave. It's not the petrol <laughs> That's what I thought it was. Yeah. Like yeah. Petrol we got we to shine it. You rent the space, and then once you can't afford it anymore, they kick you yeah, off. No. Bring the pics in. So it's thirty thousand dollars. Now, normally, the movie company or the record company mm. would pay that because yeah. you normally promote an album or a movie when you get your star. There is no in sync. There's no record label. There's no movie. Justin's paying the whole thirty. Is he really? He he needs I would split it six, 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 six. Because there's but, like five of them. Because I have to say, no. they, that's the one group that a lot of them invested their money oh, very they're all wisely. Rich. Oh, so they got money Joey too. Joey Fatone. Oh no, we're paying um, for this together. Bass, they, they actually have yeah, money, they've, and oh, they've done other things like producing and all kinds right. of stuff. And I'd split oh. it. Good for Wouldn't him. Would you split it? I'd split it. No, I think he has a lot more He's money. He's got a lot more I money than they was, do. I don't know. Come on, hold it down. You know that one rich friend? You'd be like, pay for the chicken, <laughs> <laughs> We'll pay for the appetizers. You got the liquor. Hello. That's what they all Same do thing. to poor Elvis. <laughs> yes. Poor Elvis takes yes. us out. Yes. Too. Yes. Nobody takes their wallet out. I'm like, no. guys, every now and then it'd be nice if we <laughs> pay. Everyone's just <laughs> like, doo -doo. I asked before we eat. Do you have so. a corporate card that you can <laughs> use? Because I don't know how much I can order. It's like, you're <laughs> paying, Elvis. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yes, are you paying? Because if we're just no, I'm like, we're just having appetizers. You know, we're splitting tapas. That's it. When somebody invites you to dinner, you know you go, well, are you paying? Because it depends if I can go or not. And what restaurant is it? Yeah, for real. Don't invite me to nothing expensive. Because I'm going to be like, I didn't ask to come here. Thank you once again to our sponsor, Blue Apron, who might not sponsor us after hearing this They'll episode. Be of course they will. Thank you, Blue Apron. I'm hungry. I'm about to open up one of those boxes right now. <laughs> Microwave. You're going to just eat the ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> Skip <Okay>. the meat. <laughs> Pause. Thank you. Thank you to Honey. Thank you to Rob. Thank you. It's after Elvis. Bye.